Hello friends, I am Rahul and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will see some interview questions on the AWS S3 service. Let's start with the questions. Our first question is, what is AWS S3? Amazon Simple Storage Service is an object storage service that offers industry-leading scalability, data availability, security and performance. Customers of all sizes and industries can use Amazon S3 to store and protect any amount of data for a range of use cases, such as data lakes, websites, mobile applications, backup and restore, archive, enterprise applications, IoT devices, and big data analytics. Amazon S3 provides management features so that you can optimize organize and configure access to your data to meet your specific business, organizational and compliance requirements. Our next question is Storage classes in S3 Let's see the storage classes in high level view. S3 standard This is a general purpose storage for any type of data typically used for frequently accessed data. Second is S3 Intelligent Tiering. This is an automatic cost saving for data with unknown or changing access patterns. Third is S3 Standard Infrequent Access. This class is for the data which is long lived but infrequently accessed. But when we need the data, it should be available in a few milliseconds. Fourth class is S3 one zone infrequent access this class is for data that is accessed less frequently but requires rapid access when needed unlike other S3 storage classes which store data in a minimum of 3 availability zones S3 one zone infrequent access store data in a single AZ and cost 20% less than S3 standard infrequent access Fifth class is S3 Glacier. This class is for long term backups and archives with retrieval options from 1 minute to 12 hours. Sixth option is S3 Glacier Deep Archive. This class is for long term data archiving that is accessed once or twice a year and can be restored within 12 hours. Our next question is how AWS S3 works. Please refer to the image on the screen. Here we can store the data of different types in the S3 bucket like analytics data, log files, application data, videos or images and backups. S3 service stores the data in multiple availability zones as per the storage class selected by the user. Here. We can manage our data by using the important features of S3 like replication, access control, storage lens. As per the requirement, we can use the data for AI ML applications or analytics. Our next question is how to control access to S3. Customers may use four mechanisms for controlling access to Amazon S3 resources. Identity and access management policies, bucket policies, access control lists, and query string authentication. With IAM policies, customers can grant IAM users fine grained control to their Amazon S3 bucket or objects while also retaining full control over everything the users do. With bucket policies, customers can Define rules which apply broadly across all requests to their Amazon S3 resources, such as granting right privileges to a subset of Amazon S3 resources. Customers can also restrict access based on an aspect of the request, such as HTTP, referral, and IP address. With ACLs, customer can grant specific permissions like read, write, or full control to specific users for an individual bucket or object. 
Our next question is what is S3 intelligent tiering? Amazon S3 intelligent tiering is an S3 storage class designed to optimize storage cost by automatically moving data to the most cost effective access tier without operational overhead. It is the only cloud storage that delivers automatic cost saving by moving data on a granular object level between access tiers when access pattern change. This is the perfect storage class when you want to optimize storage cost for data that have unknown or changing access patterns. S3 intelligent tiering monitors the access pattern and moves the object automatically from one tier to another. If an object in the infrequent access tier is accessed later, it is automatically moved back to the frequent access tier. No additional tiering charges apply when objects are moved between access tiers within the S3 intelligent tiering storage class. Our next question is what are life cycle policies? Using these policies, we can move the data from one storage to another based on the time period. This is user controlled policies to move the data from one storage class to another. Because of these policies, we can reduce the cost of infrequent data by moving them to a low cost storage class like Glacier. Our next question is what is Amazon S3 replication? Amazon S3 replication enables automatic asynchronous copying of objects across Amazon S3 buckets. Buckets that are configured for object replication can be owned by the same AWS account or by different accounts. You can copy objects to one or more destination buckets between different AWS regions. That is S3 cross region replication or within the same AWS region that is S3 same region replication. Our next question is what is a bucket policy? A bucket policy is a resource based AWS IAM policy. You can add a bucket policy to a bucket to grant other AWS accounts or IAM user access permissions for the bucket and the objects in it. Object permissions apply only to the objects that the bucket owner creates. Using the bucket policies, we can restrict the access for some users on granular level like source IP address. Our next question is, what is a bucket ACL? Amazon S3 access control list enables you to manage access to bucket and objects. Each bucket and object has an ACL attached to it as a sub resource. It defines which AWS accounts or groups are granted access and the type of access. When a request is received against a resource, Amazon S3 checks the corresponding ACL to verify that the requester has the necessary access permissions. When you create a bucket or an object, Amazon S3 creates a default ACL that grants the resource owner full control over the resource. Our next question is, what is storage lens? With S3 storage lens, you can understand, analyze and optimize storage with usage and activity metrics and interactive dashboards to aggregate data for your entire organization, specific accounts, regions, buckets or prefixes. All of this data is accessible in the S3 management console or as a raw data in an S3 bucket. S3 storage lens includes an interactive dashboard which you can find in the S3 console. The dashboard gives you the ability to perform filtering and drill down into your metrics to understand how your storage is being used. The metrics are organized into categories like data protection and cost efficiency to allow you to easily find relevant metrics. Thanks for watching the video. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel to watch more DevOps and cloud related videos.